Hey Spoonie Stars! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Effie. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite superfood, Moringa. How it's helped me with rheumatoid arthritis pain and inflammation, and which products I love. Stay tuned because that's coming all right up. If you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe and join the rest of the Spoonie Star tribe and the bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. So what is Moringa? It has many names as you see here, but one of the most popular names is called the Miracle Tree, the Miracle Superfood. Why do they call it this? Because all of its parts can be used for nutritional and pharmaceutical purposes. Moringa is native to Asia and Africa, and here in the United States where I live, if you want to grow Moringa, because you can, you need to live in a very warm climate. And if you're like me, and you don't live in these states, and you want to use Moringa, don't fret because you still can. And the known side effect is that it may possess anti-fertility qualities, and so pregnant women are advised to not use it. Some of the benefits of Moringa are anti-inflammatory properties. I noticed that my inflammation improves when I put it in my smoothies, which I don't do every day, but I try to switch things up and this is one of the powders that I do put in my smoothies. I had it this morning and it has benefits for your hair and your skin and your nails. And I recently made a video about hair thinning and hair growth and hair loss with rheumatoid arthritis and medications. And one of the items that I talked about was Moringa oil from a company called Pure Vita. And that's what I've been using in my hair recently to combat frizz and make it shiny and just voluminous and really nice. And it's worked pretty well. Watch that video if you haven't. I go more in depth with that. If you are a subscriber on here, it's no secret that I love drinking tea. So it's only fitting that I share two teas that are Moringa based. And the first one is from a brand called Traditional Medicinals and it has Moringa, Sage, and Spearmint. And I believe that they had one with just Moringa, but for some reason I haven't seen it and that's why I got that one. It still works, it still tastes great. And I also found one from Mountain Rose Herbs, which is loose leaf because I know a lot of people don't like the tea bags. I tend to not like those either all the time. I like my loose leaf tea. I feel that it's healthier in a way. I made a poll over on my Instagram yet again and about 91% of people said that they have not tried Moringa. I don't have that many followers to have so many responses, but hey, that's something that a lot of people haven't tried this. I ended up asking what people's favorite go-to superfood is, and this is what people had to say. One person said, dark cherries, I crave them and eat them by the pound by myself easy. Collagen, and another person said, chia seed pudding and my hemp hearts. Yes, I love hemp hearts. I put them on my salad, in my smoothies, and they're really great, yeah, I love that. Turmeric. One other person said water, which I found awesome and funny. Someone said, please share the comments on this one. So if you're wanting to know, here it is. Follow me on Instagram where I will post some more updates if anyone else responds, but this is all I have to report on for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever tried Moringa and what your favorite superfood is if you haven't. And if it is, has it helped your RA at all? All right guys, that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful as always. And before we go, here is the Spoonie Star Supporter of the Week. Thank you so much for your love and your support. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.